Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is day one of our September release and I have a fun card to share. Hey, so I am using Jada Blossom's Batty for You and Boo Crew Outlines, the Boo Crew stamp set, along with our diamond dies, our border dies, our clear jar Halloween add-ons, and our Halloween dies. And those are my two images that are all colored up and all my um, copus will be listed. I'm using Doodlebugs, Gingham Linen, Rainbow Petite Prints, the Booville, Ghost Town, uh, six inch pad along with the matching odds and ends. So first of all, I'm starting with a Simon Says Stamp white A2 size top fold squared card. And I'm adding a strip of border paper from one of those um, pads that I mentioned, just about an inch. And I'm sticking that to the inside of the card. So now I'm going to go ahead and create the front of my card with all these die cuts. So I'm pulling out Distress Oxide ink first in Carved Pumpkin. And I'm just going to ink blend some on my base using my Tailored Expression Blending Brush. Now I'm also using the Nomi Want Candy Stamp Set. I didn't have it um, to show you in at the beginning of this video. And now I'm pulling out the Distress Ink and Black Soot and I'm just gonna ink around these diamond dies. So I use the largest one and then the smallest three diamond dies. And then I cut out patterns, like I said, from those pads that I have listed. And all of my coloring today um, all the colors will be listed on my blog. They were colored onto uh, Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. So there, there you can see the gingham linen from Doodlebug. And I'm just trying to ink along the edges of this Rick Rack die cut. So this is a super cute release. Um, today I'm just using the stamp set. There's an adorable, adorable gnome dies that came out today. I don't have them in my hands as of this point, so that's why I'm not using them in this video. Um, hopefully I will have them later this week and I'll be able to create with them. So this is my the largest die, and I'm just going to sort of have that hanging off the left-hand side of my card base. There we go, and I will trim off the overhang there. So easy stuff. I did not tape the coloring of that gnome today. And now I'm going to add in my spider web. That was cut out of American Crafts black cardstock. And all my die cutting today was done with my Gemini machine as per usual. So there we go. So now I'm going to pop up the little diamond and I will pop up the striped diamond. And like I said, all of the pattern papers are from Doodlebugs Booville and Ghost Town. I'm just going <coughs> to, excuse me, I'm just going to pop that diamond up with some Stampin' Up Dimensionals using reverse tweezers just to get my fingers out of the way. I never use my, the diamond dies. I don't know why. I always forget about them. And I thought I'm going to use some stuff that I don't use very often, to, you know, in my videos for this release. So that's what I'm doing here. So I just inked along the edge there. And then I will figure out how this layout is going to be. So I'm going to stick down that diamond die. I'm just going to add another layer over the part that's kind of, you know, hanging off that diamond just so there's no lumps or bumps. I'll just trim off the extra there with a pair of scissors. There we are. So you'll notice that I also added some Copic, or not Copic, Secure White Jelly Roll Pen in number 10 in white um, to my gnome just to add some highlights. And I did use a black glaze pen because I dotted on eyes on the spiders and then I used a black glaze pen to dot the pupils, um, you know, just to add a little something to that gnome. So I was using an adhesive re eraser there. Now I'm going to stick down this Rick Rack with my art glitter glue. I'm just trying to get it straight and then I will trim off the edges. There we go with a pair of scissors. Kind of, you know, that's my jam. So there we are. So like I said, an adorable release again. I love these new sentiments. I did not get the dies in time to use the dies. Um, now this image here was cut out with my brother Scan and Cut with a 0.4 border. I did use the dies though for the, um, for the gnome. So there we are. I'm going to have that hanging off. I'm going to have that sort of behind my little gnome guy. So I'm just trimming off the overhang. There we go. And I just used a Copic uh, marker in C1, I believe, just to, you know, add a little shadow to that spider web. Now I'm going to be popping up my little gnome. Super cute stuff. And this was a really easy card. And like I said, I'm trying to use stuff that I don't use very often for, you know, no reason. I just kind of forget about it. I kind of forgot about the diamond dies from Jada Blossom, to be honest. And I thought, oh, this would make a cute little nest, a cute little layout. 
And there we go. So I'm going to pop up that little spider. That spider was cut from Paper Tray Ink Black Cardstock. And I'm just going to pop him on beside the gnome. There we go, which is kind of creepy, right? It's kind of gross. Okay, so now I'm pulling out my all to new um, enamel dots in essential black and white. And I'm just going to add a few enamel dots to my project just to add a little bit of shine. There we go. Isn't that kind of, I just think it's super cute stuff. And there we are. So trying to have like an odd number, you know, I'm using my pen blade just to pick them up off the acetate. Now I'm pulling out the odds and ends from that same ghost town. And I'm just going to add a few of them to the inside of the card just to add, you know, a couple, a little something, something to the inside of this card. I'll add three stars and then, um, you know, a cute little spider. Kind of going with the theme that's on the front of the card, right? There we go. And I'm just going to add a few little highlights with my Secure White Jelly Roll pen and number 10. That's kind of my jam, right? There we go. Isn't that cute? So now I'm pulling out my um, Mini Tag Dies 1. And first of all, I'm cutting it out of Nina uh, Desert Storm. And I'm just using that as a frame so I can cut out my sentiment. My sentiment is going to say boo on the front. And I wanted to line it up perfectly. And this is how I do it. So I sort of tape the outline in place and then I'll set the uh, die in it and run it through my die cutting machine. So then I have a perfectly centered sentiment. There we go. And then the, um, the black, um, you know, framed part that is also from the mini tag dies one and that's cut out a black um, paper tray ink cardstock so now I'm going to color this boo and I'm using BG um, 57 53 and 45 so I'm just going to do kind of ombre kind of darker on the bottom leading to the lightest color on top and it goes with what I have going on on the card you know there's some teal accents so I thought that would be a perfect you know perfect colors for this so you know nothing too fancy Easy, easy coloring, right? There we go. And it's just so easy. It's a perfect little sentiment for the front of a Halloween card, right? Just a little boo. And you can color it to match whatever you have going on with your card, which is kind of fun. There we go. There. And now we will stick that down onto that paper tray ink black kind of scalloped hexagon that's from that mini tag dies one. I'm just going to layer that on with my reverse tweezers. There we go. And I'll weight it down like I always do. Then I will pop that up with my um, Stampin' Up Dimensionals as per usual. And you know, as per usual, I'm working on my Stampin' Up pad. Just an easy to clean surface, right? I'm just going to decide where that's going to go. This is kind of what I do, people. I move things around until I like the placement and then that's where it's gonna live. There we are. Now I'm just going to add a few little highlights on the top of this boo, just you know, to make it a little bit more special. And there we have it. So now I'm pulling out um, my mini tag dies three and our word bubble dies. And I'm going to add two sentiments from that brand new sentiment set, Know Me Want Candy. So I cut out one of them using my mini tag dies three. And um, that says spooky Halloween wishes and gnome kisses. And then the other one just says happy Halloween. So I'll be putting the happy Halloween like the spider is saying it. And then I will add my little other sentiment to the upper right hand corner of the inside of the card. And then that's it. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the, to the Jada Blossom blog. Be inspired the Jada Blossom store to get the gotta have it now if you'd like to get that. And please stay tuned for more videos this week. The di design team has done an amazing job. So we will see you soon tomorrow. Bye everyone.